Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Gunderman and I am the Data, Gaming, and Popular Culture Librarian for CMU Libraries. And I'm here today to give you a tour of DMP Tool, a platform that helps you write data management plans for your grant proposals or for your non-grant funded research. So first, why would you want to make a data management plan? Well, if you're applying for a grant from a funding agency, chances are you likely are going to need a data management plan, which are short, usually two-page documents that describe how you are going to take care of your data during and after a project. The funding agency just wants to know that you're going to be creating, using, and sharing data in a way that is ethical, organized, and understandable to folks who may use your data again in the future. Most of the major funding agencies require a data management plan with your grant application, including the National Science Foundation, the National Endowment for the Humanities, the National Institutes of Health, and many others. DMP Tool is a platform that provides templates and guidance for making these data management plans, which is great because it means you don't have to start from scratch when making one of these documents. So let's go into DMP Tool and look around. You are going to navigate to dmptool.org, and in the top right corner of your screen, there are the words sign in. When I hover over that, there are three options that appear here. As a CMU researcher, you will sign in with option one, which says if your institution is affiliated with DMP Tool. We do have a CMU affiliation with DMP Tool, so you will click this blue box, which says your institution. In the pop-up box that appears here, you will begin typing the name of our institution in the box under the words, look up your institution here. Typing Carnegie will be enough to have our institution show up. You will click on the full name that appears and you will want to make sure the words Carnegie Mellon University appears in the box here. Then you will click go. This will take you through our single sign-on process to verify your credentials. And next, you'll be taken to your dashboard. If you're just signing in for the first time, this is gonna be blank. Uh, as you add data management plans, they're gonna show up here. You can see by the amount of items here that I'm a very active user. Another thing you'll see on this landing page is a section at the bottom called Carnegie Mellon University Plans. Here, you'll see all the plans that are made available to the CMU community. Now, on my interface, it won't show this, but you'll also see several plans that I've personally made available as references that you can use as you create your own plans. To see the plans here, you'll click this image under the download column for each of these respective plans. Now, before I start showing you the mechanics of creating a data management plan in this platform, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be scrolling up and down these pages quite a bit throughout this screencast. So if you do experience motion sickness, you may just want to listen to this with only your audio and not the video. For that reason, I'll be very descriptive of what I'm doing with the interface. So to begin creating your data management plan, you have two options. The first is to reference this row of clickable links in the top left corner of the screen, and you can choose the option Create Plan. The other option is to first make sure you're on the page that says My Dashboard, and then scroll down underneath your current projects and click this button that says Create Plan. Both of these options will take you to the same location. So next, you'll be taken to this screen with the header text Create a New Plan. The purpose of this page is to get some basic information about your project so the system can connect you with the appropriate data management plan template. There are three required fields here that you will need to fill out before you can advance the screen. The first field is asking what research project are you planning? This is where you can enter the title of your project that needs a data management plan. Or if you're just trying out the system or practicing making a plan, you can also click this box to indicate to DMP tool that it's just a mock project. Second, 
you'll be asked to select the primary research organization from where the research is taking place and administered. In most cases, this will likely be CMU, but you might find yourself needing to choose a different institution here if you're collaborating with somebody not at CMU. You can see that it autofills Carnegie Mellon University, but you can also delete this and search for the relevant institution. You can also check the box here on the right, which says no research organization associated with this plan, or my research organization is not listed, if that is applicable to your situation. Finally, you will select the primary funding organization. For those wanting to write a data management plan for inclusion in your grant proposal, this is where you'll choose the agency that you're applying for funding from. So for example, if I'm writing a data management plan for a grant proposal to the National Endowment for the Humanities, I can start typing the name of that organization into this box. The full name of the organization pops up here, and I can click this text to autofill the field. Or if you're making a data management plan for non-funded research or your funder isn't listed, you can also check this box and you'll receive just a generic template. Now that I have that information filled in, I can click Create Plan. Now you'll be taken to a page that shows the name of your project across the top of the screen with several tabs appearing below that. The first tab says Project Details. And this is where you'll fill in important context for this data management plan. This creates a cover page for your data management plan when you export it at the end of this process. The only required element here is the project title, which it autofills from the previous page. The next few fields are optional. You can also add an abstract for the project if you'd like, the research domain, as well as the project start and end dates. You can also denote if the research outputs may have any ethical concerns. You can add the funder, funded status, and funding opportunity number, as well as any specific grant numbers or URLs. Now one additional thing you can do on this page is over here on the upper right hand side of the screen where it says select guidance. This is additional guidance that you can get for writing your data management plan within this interface and it will automatically check the box for CMU. You'll want to leave this box checked to make sure you're getting up-to-date guidance for your plan. And I also recommend clicking this box for DMP tool right below it. If you are collaborating with any other institutions and want to see what their guidance is for writing these plans, you can click see the full list and choose up to four more additional organizations for a total of six to see what information they've provided for their researchers using DMP tool. If you do make any changes here, click save and then navigate to the bottom of the screen and click save again. You'll have a green notification bar at the top of the screen indicating that the plan is indeed saved. Then let's navigate to the next tab called collaborators. Here, you can add collaborators to your plan in two main ways. The first is to add contributors, so they will be listed on your data management plan as having specific data management roles in your project. Now, on this screen, you have the option to type out information on your contributor and assign them the roles of data manager, principal investigator, project administrator, or give them the designation of other. In this way, these contributors will be listed on your plan. The other way to add collaborators is to give them access to your plan so they can read it, edit it, or just help administer it. Now, the next tab I'm going to navigate to is this Write Plan tab, which is where I'll start to write the actual contents of the data management plan. When I first click on this tab, I can see all of the sections of the DMP. Now, these sections might change depending on what templates you're using. So you might see something different than what I'm seeing now, but no matter which template you're using, you're going to see sections that pertain to categories pretty similar to this. 
such as data collection, metadata, ethics, storage and backup, etc. All aspects of working with data in a project. So as an example, if I click on this first section called Roles and Responsibilities, a space then appears with specific questions for me to answer, and there's a text area that I can use to record that answer. So I'm just going to type in some sample text right here and click Save, and that records the text. For your plan, you are going to repeat that process for each section until you've answered all the questions. And then we're ready to move on. The next tab is actually a newer feature in DMP tool called Research Outputs. This is where you can record your intended outputs from your research, such as data sets, software, etc and add any intended repositories, metadata standards, release dates, access levels, and licensing. Now, some of this may duplicate the information that you've already included in the previous section of your DMP, but this is just another useful way that you can record this information down and have it represented in your data management plan. Finally, I can download my plan for inclusion in my grant application. I can choose a format from this drop-down list, and the default format for us here at CMU will always show PDF. Then I can choose to include a cover sheet, which includes all the information you may have added under the Project Details tab, and then the options for including the question text in section headings and any unanswered questions. These will default to being checked, and I highly recommend leaving these checked. If you do choose the PDF option, you also have the choice to customize your formatting. So this includes the typeface, size, and margins. Then you can click the Download Plan button, and you have your plan. Additionally, there is another tab that you can navigate to called Finalize Publish. And this is where you can choose to share your plan if you'd like to. You have the option to make your plan completely private to you and any collaborators, or you can share it with only your organization, which would be CMU, or you can make it completely public for any users of DMP tool, regardless of their affiliation. If you do choose to make your plan open to the CMU community, it will show up under the Carnegie Mellon University Plans section of our main dashboard. There's also a new option to get a DMP ID for your data management plan, which allows you to register your plan and add it to your ORCID profile as a scholarly product. Thank you so much for watching this screencast, and if you need any help at all using DMP tool, or if you're just looking for general data management advice, please feel free to email us at data at cmu.libanswers.com, and we'd be happy to have a conversation. Thank you, everybody.